So in this video, we'll be sharing the cluster, the controls found on the steering wheel, how you would control it so that you could see different views on the cluster. Hi guys, my name is Don and I am not a pro driver. So I'll be sharing the controls here found on the left side of the steering wheel. So we have the first row, second row, and then third row. We'll only use the second row, all right, because the uh, first and third row are used for the adaptive cruise control, right? All right, so this is to move left or right, the directional arrows, left and right buttons. And then this one is to confirm if you're not on the menu, you would be taken to the menu. And if you're in the menu, you would be taken to that item. And then going up is like the cancel button. And then going down is the same as pressing down the OK button. So those are the controls. So here on the cluster, first of all, we have a Three main views. Here you would see the uh, TPMS, which is the uh, tire pressure monitoring system, right? If you tap right or press right, you would see like this road view. Yeah, it's just something around the car. You would see something. So I thought this was a car, an icon of a car that is emitting something, but it turns out it's sensing something. So you have, let's say, lane keep assist or lane departure warning. You would see visual representations of what's happening around the car, all right? And then here we have like a general info section and you can see here we have trip and then AFE which stands for average fuel economy and then IFC which is instantaneous fuel consumption and then we have DTE which stands for distance to empty. So I really don't know this. This was asked by a member of the Facebook group, Sir Manny Cancella, and Sir Jaden answered every acronym there. So, it, you know, you might want to join that group. But anyways, th those are what they're called here on the uh, cluster. Oh, by the way, so you're seeing my average fuel economy right now. It's 20. It doesn't go any higher than this, but this is not a good sign, <laughs> right? The reason why it's 20 liters per 100 kilometers, because most of the time I'm inside the car and the air conditioning is on, and I'm not moving. So I'm consuming fuel and I'm not moving, right? So you can see how the computer is computing that. So right now it's 20. It never went higher than that, to be honest. <laughs> All right, so that's the uh, general info. Other than that, there's nothing you can do here, really. But here's the interesting part. When you go and press the OK button, it gives you this kind of cover flow effect. It kind of reminds me of the original iTunes, you know? Uh, so it has these cards. So right now we have time, theme, language, fault, and then driving, right? So again, time. If the way I would exit this is just tap or press up, you know, the uh, button right here. So OK, up to cancel. And if you want to go inside time, let's say, you can press down or just press the OK button. Right now we're inside time. You could set the time and date here if you want to. Let's say the month is here. OK, so. 11 and then I, I hit OK, 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 and then go back. So you can see there from December 11, it went to November 11. Let me put that back. So that's time. Now we go to theme. I really don't know why it's there because to be honest, you only have one option, which is space time theme. All right. But anyway, uh, hopefully, you know, there would be an update that we can have multiple themes. I don't know. Language. All right. So we have two languages here. One is English. And then I believe this is Arabic. That's it. So if I hit OK on Arabic, then all the UI that has, you know, letters or words in it will have Arabic. Let me go back to language here. So this is language and then go back to English. There we go. And then fault. Now fault right now, there is no fault. Whenever you have that yellow triangle with an exclamation mark in it, this is where you get to see the details. Now, I saw this one time, actually two times. So the first time was like a bug, all right? <laughs> and then the other is when I was really low on fuel and it's warning me to like top up. That's it, all right? Now, going back to this menu, let's go to driving. Now, inside driving, we have maintenance mileage, trip, AFE, you could reset this fatigue and ESC function. And then we go back to maintenance mileage. All right. So maintenance mileage, what does this do? Maintenance for your mileage, uh, maybe after a change oil or maybe after a PMS or something like that. That would be, I guess, where you would want to reset this, right? The way you would reset this is you press down and then it will ask you confirm to reset. Yes or no. You know, just use the left buttons and right buttons. And then confirm, right, with the OK button, all right? 
trip, that also goes the same thing. I guess this would be best when you're refueling. Uh, when you're empty, and then you top up fuel. You would want to probably reset this along with AFE. I, I haven't done this yet. I haven't done anything uh, to test the uh, fuel economy for this yet. Here is fuel economy. You could reset this, right? Or clear, and it, it will go back to zero. So what fatigue does is it gives you the coffee icon. It will show up like an alert. It's not an error. It's more like an alert that you've been driving for more than X number of hours. And this is the X number of hours. So in my case, it's always one hour, but you could have it one and a half hour, two hours, two and a half hours, three, three and a half, four. And that's it, four hours. That's a max. If you don't want any alert or something, you could just turn it off here. Since I'm comfortable driving this car, the fatigue serves as a reminder for me to ask the second row passengers if they need a bathroom break. <laughs> the last one is ESC, which stands for, if I believe, Electronic Stabilization Control. I really don't know what this does, but I just leave it on because if I turn it off, right, I'd start to see this yellow icon, which says it's off. And it looks like it's a car going through a winding road and it's off. So I just turned it on and I believe it's one of the safety features anyway. So why turn it off? Oh, by the way, I just wanted to let you guys know that you cannot access the menu while you're driving. So if I, right now I am on park, if I hit drive and hit release the parking brake, I still can, all right, I, I still can. But when I'm driving a bit more in some speed, you would see that it says there, for your driving and safety, please parking to set, <laughs> right? So yeah, you, if you're moving, if you're in motion, you can't use the uh, menu. Uh, just something to remember, all right? So I really do hope that you found this video useful. And if you're interested in other Tigo 8 Pro features, please check out this playlist here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hanggang sa ulitin. Kita kits.